Hello Creation Nation friends, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here today. I was waiting for you because I'm ready to learn more about God's Word, the Bible. But before we start, before we learn our lesson for today, we're going to stand up, we're going to get all warmed up by singing a song about following Jesus, and then we're going to say our memory verse, okay? Are you standing up? Good job, let's sing together. I like that song. Did you stand up and dance? Okay, now stay standing up. We're gonna say our memory verse. I'm gonna say it first and you repeat after me, okay? You ready? For Christ died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 Very good. Can we say it together? Let's try to say it together, okay? One, two, three. For Christ died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 318. Very good. And now guess what? Next week is going to be a brand new month, the month of December, and we get a brand new memory verse. So now you can sit down. Let's focus. Can you take a deep breath? Can you crisscross applesauce? Can you keep your hands to yourself? Good job. So last week we learned about God sending a helper, the Holy Spirit. So if you believe in Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit within you, and that changes you. 
that makes you want to do the right thing and obey Jesus. Because we're saved because Jesus loved us and he did everything that he needed to do. All we have to do is trust. And in today's story, we're gonna learn about somebody that did not like Jesus, but something happened and his life completely changed. Pay attention, okay? A new way to see. Of all the people who kept the rules, Saul was the best. I'm good at being good, he'd tell you. He was very proud and very good, but he wasn't very nice. Saul hated anyone who loved Jesus. He travelled around looking for them. He wanted to catch them and put them in prison. He wanted everyone to forget all about Jesus. He didn't believe Jesus was the rescuer, and he didn't believe Jesus was alive either. You see, Saul had never met Jesus. So, one day, Jesus met Saul. Saul was on his way to Damascus when suddenly a dazzling light flashed like lightning. It was brighter than the sun. It was too bright. Saul shielded his eyes and fell to the ground. He heard a loud voice. It was too loud. It gave Saul a headache. Saul, Saul, said the loud voice. Why are you fighting me? Lord, Saul answered. Who are you? I am Jesus, said the voice. When you hurt my friends, you are hurting me too. Saul's whole body trembled. Go to the city, Jesus said. I'll tell you what to do. When Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see. His helpers had to hold his hand and lead him like a little child. Saul was blind for three whole days, and yet it was as if he was seeing for the very first time. Meanwhile, there was a man called Ananias who loved Jesus. Jesus came to him in a dream. Go to Saul and pray for him, and I will make him see again. Ananias knew all about Saul and how he hated Jesus' followers. Lord, he has come to hurt us. But Jesus told Ananias, Saul is the one I've chosen to tell the whole world who I am. So Ananias went to Saul. Brother Saul, Ananias said, it was Jesus you met on the road. And Ananias prayed for Saul. Suddenly, Saul could see again, but he saw everything differently. He wasn't mean anymore. He even changed his name from Saul to Paul, which means small and humble, the very opposite of proud. And do you know what Ananias' name means? The Lord is full of grace. Grace is just another word for gift, which is funny because that's just what Paul's message was all about from then on. It's not about keeping rules, Paul told people. You don't have to be good at being good for God to love you. You just have to believe what Jesus has done and follow him because it's not about trying, it's about trusting, it's not about rules. It's about grace, God's free gift that cost him everything. What had happened to Paul? <laughs> he had met Jesus. Paul got a new job. He called himself a servant and travelled everywhere telling everyone about Jesus. He got shipwrecked three times. He even ended up in prison. God loves us, he wrote from prison. Nothing can ever, no, not ever, separate us from the never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love of God. He showed us in Jesus. And so it was. 
just as God promised Abraham that dark night all those years before, the family of God's children grew and grew until one day they would come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. I love this story. Do you know why? Because we see that Saul was a man that hated Jesus and he hated everyone that loved Jesus. He wanted to arrest them, put them in jail, and sometimes he wanted to hurt them. He was not a good person. And then Jesus showed up to him. Jesus had a plan for Saul's life. He even changed his name to Paul. Jesus showed up to Saul and did something amazing. The bright light made him blind. But then through that, this miracle, something that only Jesus can do, he started to see again. And he realized that being saved by Jesus, the rescuer, is a gift. It's not about what we do. It's not about how good we are. It's all about trusting Jesus and knowing that the gift of being saved, the gift of being able to be with God one day, is all because of Jesus. It's grace. Grace is a gift that God gave to us freely. All we have to do is trust Him. So today, we need to make sure we share with everybody this great news that Jesus loved us so much that He died, but He came back to life. That whoever believes and puts his, their trust in Him, they are saved. Isn't that amazing? Jesus is alive and Jesus loves you. Let's stand up and let's sing one, two, three. Jesus is alive. Guys, my favorite time of the week is when I get to be here with you and we get to share the stories about Jesus and we get to learn together. And I want you to be able to share with a lot of people that Jesus loves them. So when you go home, I want you to share with your friends and your family how much Jesus loves them, that he died for them. 
Okay? I'll see you next week because we have a special story. See you guys.